Welcome to the Spit Bucket Hotel Party. Thanks for joining us. I love that scream. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Yes. Here. You fool, that wasn't a Sprite Cranberry. It was a Sprite Cherry. <laughs> oh that's god we're that's how we're starting this welcome to another episode of the spit bucket yeah we're starting we're starting the episode thanks for joining us i guess you'll you can already tell what kind of uh episode this is going to be a meme cast yeah that's meme cast welcome to the last episode of the spit bucket for 2017 wow 2017 <laughs> oh yeah you're stuck in the past bro yeah man this is 2018 man my bad Welcome to twenty. Welcome to the end of twenty eighteen. Year the wow. chungus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, twenty chungus. Joining me at the table this week is the bench warmer for the entire bench. Chungus Prado <laughs> for the New York Fix. Hey, Ivan Prado. I go by Ivan Chungus now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, joining us back this week again. With a funnier haircut than he did last week. I don't, what's going on oh, with your hair? Shit. Just, look, I haven't had a haircut in like three months. And, Me either. Uh, it was like Ben Affleck. Like, like the past two times I've came over, I've had hats. And today I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like wearing a hat. Damn, you should have worn a hat. I would have. Yeah. All right, anyway, it's Gibby. Like quiffs? He looks like Quiffs? <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like if Ben Affleck was trying to be Superman. <laughs> no, he, looks, oh. he looks like if Ben Affleck was handed a Sprite uh, <laughs> uh, cherry instead of cranberry. <laughs> by, by the way, this uh, oh. podcast sponsored by uh, Cranberry Sprite. Yeah. Shout out to LeBron. And then, uh, Sprite <laughs> the last person joining us at the table is Big Chungus himself. It is Eric. Hey. Eric Mungus. Dude, that Arizona I drank is still like in my face. <laughs> uh, like I got like a runny nose from that and I still got it. Did you snort Arizona or something? <laughs> no, I tried chugging No, it. it's actually going to be on, it's on the page already. But yep. There's a video of Eric shotgunning an Arizona can. A full Arizona can. You can find that on the Spit Bucket Facebook page. That's just so much liquid to consume and... Three seconds. Yeah, and then that we. Like that was pretty seconds. impressive. That was like that honestly. was like ten seconds, but it was. Man, for if there's so anyone up. that I know can like and like shotgun, it's Eric. It's true. I've it's seen definitely him. Definitely Eric. Like, I think we've timed you before. What do you know? What your record is Eric for shotgunning a beer? Shotgun. Probably like less than like like five seconds. Yeah, less, less I would. Than, I would uh, it has been less. I, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. last time I measured it, it was like three and a half seconds. Three and a half inches. <laughs> 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 the time it takes me to. That's what you call a chungus. How about a how about a butt chug though? How about oh, that's true. Can you can you suck it up through your ass I think, faster? I think Ivan might Probably take, the, take yeah. the cake. Yeah, I got a pretty yeah. strong chungus. So. <laughs> <laughs> really. Ivan doesn't just have that cake. He's got the whole goddamn bakery. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we went to uh, we went to Chicago earlier today. Yeah, and right after he downed that Arizona, then we got some Luke's lobster, and then he downed a disgusting beer. And then uh, he starts try like shaking because he's got a pee pee, <laughs> and then he tried to find an alley to try to pee in the alley, and there was a car with its lights off. <laughs> he said, "What are you doing in my alley? Get out of my swamp!" <laughs> so he ran. All right, good times. Uh, so this this episode is probably going to come out. You're probably hearing it the day after Christmas. So hopefully everyone had a good time. Crimbus, Krampus. Krampus. crisis. Crisis? Yeah. Merry Crisis. <laughs> Is that like a car sale? Yeah. Honda Days or something. Merry Crimbus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't speak too good sometimes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Jam, Jam will at some point be joining us in this episode. But what we always do on the Spit Bucket is bring some outrageous news stories from around the world. I don't know if you guys notice there's a lot less stupid shit being said. <laughs> Jam <isn't here> <laughs> why, why like you, what? Why do you think that is? You Anything. think she just has that effect? <laughs> no, I'm saying she says all the stupid shit. So now it's not happening. Did you sip anything of yours? Oh yeah, well, what's either. going on with this Jaeger for the for Eric's the episode? Got an entire bottle of Jaegermeister by his foot. What flavor? This is, is how the Fucking news should be done. Jaeger? Candy corn, right? No, no. no. Oh, oh, dude. it's licorice flavor. Jaeger, like Jaeger in general, already kind of tastes like doo doo. Dude, it smells like rubbing alcohol. What's wrong with you? I don't see. Like, I'll drink it, but it's like I don't. I can't say I like the taste of it. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have tequila. It's a herbal liquor. I'd rather herbal. have herbal. Like, Does that mean you get cherry. high off it? Yeah. No, it, Let me see what this smells does it like. Smell like Sprite no, cherry? more you're gonna get high off fumes, dude. That's it. Smells like mouthwash. That's what I was that saying. That literally smells like mouthwash. It's like, it's like, like Listerine. <laughs> 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 wow! Fucking Listerine. No? He's like, I went. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What is that? Into the mic. What does that smell like, Gibby? Hold on. It smells like the dentist. It does. 
He's already smelled it, but not on not on not on the mic on record. <laughs> it smells like spark cherry. <laughs> <laughs> it's cranberry, isn't it? Damn. Get it right, a, Chunk. It's gonna give you that bit bit. So what's the what's the plan on this Jaeger? Gonna I'm gonna have a sip shit. and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you sip that slowly. Chug it, chung it, chung it, yes, Ooh, how's that? He's throwing up now. <laughs> I heard all of that. Wow, I like it. it ba- welcome back to Eric's ASMR channel. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a thing. Can we have that like in every episode? All right. where we just Eric's ASMR channel. Oh, wait, the let court. me let me get some uh, let me get some like holistic music going on. All right, and then uh, we're gonna do some a- some, some ASMR some, some, some from some Eric. Music? Is that no. what it- I consider living music being more like like a yeah? You gotta turn it down. You won't be able to hear my ASMR. All right. I got it. All right, here we go. I can't hear this. Welcome. To, uh, here, this is your segment. That's so you, right, you tell us what's going on, Eric. All right. You're going to be listening to me take stuff out of my pockets. Part two. Ooh, I can close my eyes and make sure it's happening. <laughs> I can't tell people what's, what's um, in your pockets. It's the same thing as last time. Money, AirPods, my wallet. I got some <laughs> coins this time. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, I'm so here's the ASMR. Right All right. I love it, dude. That's a nickel. <laughs> As he shows it to the mic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Let Two everybody, pennies. Let everybody see. Two quarters. A dime. Four pennies. Y'all want to take a guess how many coins he has? Look my nails. <laughs> oh. But you want some I, lotion? <laughs> I can't crack my... I do got lotion. <laughs> You can't crack your knuckles. No, I don't know how. Can I crack my knuckles? Can we get some mouth noises there? Oh, that's your fucking thumb? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that was good enough. That was enough embarrassment. <laughs> Alright, that was done. That was Eric's meditation corner. Wow. <laughs> we gotta have that every episode. Better. Well, I'm not gonna be here every episode. Can you send it in? Yeah, yeah call me and I'll You'll do call it. in every week. <laughs> with just more mouth noises. Yeah. You, you just pick up. Hello, and I hear. Alright, what's the weirdest noise you guys can make? I'm not about to make that. Yeah, <laughs> make yeah, that. What's, your about to what's your squealer? It's probably going to pick up like really loud. Do it. No, it sounded like Alan's uh, amp. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> when I did that it. That shit's crazy. That's not like that. It gives me the same kind of like chills that you get when you're at the dentist and they're like drilling your teeth. That's true. Do you guys ever have like bad dental work done? No, honestly. I've had I've had my dentist go like, "Oh, you're bleeding a lot," but I can feel him like missing my teeth when he's like cleaning. <laughs> I was like, "Man, fuck you!" I can I, I feel you. I feel you hitting my gums. He said, "I feel bit. you." Oh god, I feel him in me, nah, and my, I'm just like, "You're missing." My dentist is pretty good. Maybe that's why I could never afford him and haven't gone in years. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I. He always made sure I was like fed, doing well. He drilled him. He always drilled. He always him. used to no. He he always used to tell me to fucking join the wrestling team. Why? Or, he wants, like, to, you he had, wants to see yeah, you in a he leotard. Wants to see you sweaty. Yeah. He wants to see you in a, what do you call them? Hey, the hey Ivan, you ever been slippery? <laughs> or like football. Ugh. Just because I'm a <laughs> but big he's chungus. Hairy. A big chungus. You know what I mean? No, he was a nice guy. Well, I mean, I could see like, that too. I could see you doing something where your size would be like a good portion of why you're so good at it. Right. Roadblock. Yeah, why are you wasting <laughs> 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 and now I'm a chungus. So. And I told him, no, my life's devoted to the arts. I'm a drummer now. And he said, oh, that's fucking lame. <laughs> and then I stopped going. He said, damn, this kid's not making any money. <laughs> yeah, at all. He said, oh, how many bands are you in? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh. He's like, did you, just, did you eat the band? <laughs> just, just zero. He said, are you the whole band? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, technically, at this point, you would be at zero, right? Technically, I am the whole band because without... Me, you guys would be nothing. <laughs> yeah, for the two bands that you're in, yeah, we'd, am, we'd be nothing. Can I'd we add nothing. gunshots? Like, right? No! <laughs> yes. 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 We wanted gunshots on, last time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not adding gunshots! <laughs> Shots are being fired. <laughs> <laughs> let's add gunshots. It, it, apparently, it's so hard for him to put gunshots. <laughs> and he's like, why can't we have It just right? takes more time. It takes he's more time. I can see a vein popping out of his forehead. I see it too. Holy shit. The last episode that you guys heard... Took me four hours to edit. One of those reasons being the gunshots, but another reason uh, something you guys will never find out. Yeah, that was pretty bad. You know, I yeah. had like 
Yeah. Oh, it's good that man. That they don't know. We but, found, we, all, all I want to say is that, you no. know, we, we found out new things. <laughs> if you guys yeah. find where the edit is, send me the time the timestamp and I will send you the unedited episode. No, you guys don't want that. Don't find We don't want that dish. No, no, no. That's career ending. Not that we all have careers at all. Curse right. as word. The, yeah, the dentist made sure we didn't have any careers. You, Gibby, yeah. you never had any bad dental experiences? Mm, I, I like I ate my tooth once. <laughs> yeah, when I was like, eating a burger. A or something. I was eating a Wasn't chicken nugget. nugget. I was eating nugget. a chicken nugget, and like it was like kind of loose. I remember this right? story. Uh-huh. And like it got stuck. It got stuck to the chicken nugget, and I swallowed uh, it. And then I'm kind of like, wait, uh, I'm missing my tooth. Uh, and then like I swallowed it with my nugget. I pooped that out at some point. I don't uh, know. <laughs> but like, did you take it, take it out, and still try to get money for it? Uh, no, I remember running to the bathroom. This <laughs> so was you at didn't the clean mall. it off and just poop on the <laughs> No, like I, I didn't like you know I never looked at my poop, but I have no doubt you really? poop out my tooth so Thank i don't know man. if that counts but yeah, that's about you know that's when i was getting my uh my it. wisdom teeth removed they had to take out two of my uh my tooths and Teeths. then uh, yeah i when they were like drilling through them if it kind of smelled like popcorn and i'm like Wait, this what? is my teeth are gonna explode something's going on <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it just like got pop- really hot while it was God like drilling. Damn. Why did you think it smelled like popcorn? Forty-four to thirty-eight. Sorry, we were. I'm just showing him something. The score? Yeah. Oh, what what, what, so what, what did they wait till now though. to score that much? That was the Packers game, though. Right? Yeah, that's not the Bears. I'm just saying, this game no, the Bears matter. won. The Bears won their game. I'm just saying this game doesn't matter. Why are they waiting till now to score forty-four points on the team? Who? Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm a, I'm a Packers fan, and I'm just upset with them this year. <laughs> I'm upset. Look, can we add that? Can we add Jake's like one? Yeah. Like, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. You're gonna do the editing on this episode. I'll be honest. You know, I, if I knew how to edit, I probably would. <laughs> but I'd be the one. I'd saying be the, add gunshots to this part. <laughs> if you want to add gunshots, you can just connect your phone to this and play the gunshots gun whenever you want. Ready. Here, I'm Eric, play, can you connect to gunshots? I'm going to play uh, <laughs> no, MIA's paper I'm planes. Not. Can you have the <laughs> bruh sound effect on uh, bruh, bruh. on speed <laughs> dial, as I call it? On speed dial? Yep. Hold on, let me see what it's called. What is it called? It's called, like, bruh sound effect number two? Yeah, There's a button. Two. There's an app for not that. Number one. Number, number two. two. Yeah. I don't even think um, about playing number three. Look right. up, get, get, like, a, a sans voice recorder. <laughs> yeah. So you record your voice and it turns it into sans. We should play a little bit of Crab Rave. <laughs> what is? We, I don't know if we're allowed to do that. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's copyrighted. What? I think that what one is, is copyrighted. Crab rave. I'll show you. All right, that. dude. I like pictures like like a shit ton of crabs right. and like yeah. a lot of like lights and yeah. and music. Dun, 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 dun. And like Bruh. honestly, probably like a fourth of the crabs are <laughs> dead. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, you can't hear Bruh. it. You no. want all these sound effects? You can't, <laughs> yeah, hear it. You can't even hear it. I don't have headphones, man. Well, you know what you got to say to that. He doesn't got headphones. I don't know if he played bro. If he played gunshots. There <laughs> Damn. Play gunshots. <laughs> I'll try to find you. I'll try to find you gunshots. If you want to play gunshots, play them through your mic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, let me see if I can. Those were distant uh, gunshots. Y'all want to hear close gunshots? I'm in. Chungus shots. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Those were like about like twenty feet away this time. <laughs> Is no. this a crab ring? No. There's your gunshot. <laughs> That was, was way too. Like, <laughs> that, was that was way was, too dramatic. That was very anticlimactic. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Damn, can we get a bra on this? My chunky bra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it well enough where I'll just I'll bra. be the, I'll be the sound effect of it. Damn, it needs was... to be distorted though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! I'm sorry, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> is this space? Yeah. Welcome to the other ASMR. Just Blade Runner let's inspired just, music. Let's just be like an ASMR channel. Can Ooh. we? Can we please be? I brought up the idea of just falling asleep. Oh, here we go. It's a crab rave, guys. Uh, I can't wait to get the, these copy strikes. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's You're the one that wanted ever. it. <laughs> That's the greatest song ever made. What are you talking about? Yo, that sounds like <laughs> Little Mermaid. Like, yeah. If they, if like, Onda da Si. Yeah, dude. that one. Remix. <laughs> All right. What's his name? Uh, Hermes? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's Herpes? Herpes? Yeah. Herp- Herp- Herpes Conrad. Lil Sebastian. Lil, yeah. Lil R- Rest Sebastian. in peace. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's let's jump into some new stories. I don't know what's going on with this let's, episode let's already. Cut most of this out. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. We're probably going to. Yeah. All right. So Can let's. Can we keep <laughs> <shots>? Let's. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. 
So let's let's jump into some news stories. All right, All right ready? If we have to. I yeah, I guess. Let me let me just wet my whistle a little bit before we start. <laughs> mm. That's wet. That whistle is wet as fuck. Hey, can I just okay. can I announce something real quick? Stop bullying. Have y'all 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 heard of <laughs> God damn it? Oh, no, stop bullying. <laughs> y'all heard of Flappy Bird, but have y'all heard of Fabby Bird? What is Fabby Bird? It's like Flappy Bird, but with a B. Fabby Bird. Yeah. No, that was it. That I'm was calling the police. Yeah, let's call the police. Well, the police. Speaking of police. Mom arrested after cops find kids alone at home watching Home Alone. <laughs> hey, what? why is that such a bad thing? They said, why is this movie so relatable right now? <laughs> Mom arrested after cops find kids alone watching Home Alone. Damn, two though? Home Alone 2? Because that movie sucks. Oh, I saw that yesterday. Lost in New that's York. Like that's it. why she went to jail. Which one's the one that has Trump two. in it? It's yeah, yeah, number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's two right. E. Uh, speaking of Macaulay Culkin, actually, th- when he went to uh, the hotel where I work, he called it a shithole. Because it is. <laughs> oh. Wait, <laughs> Wait he actually, actually had Macaulay he, Yeah, Macaulay Culkin was literally at my job. He's like, huh, this place is a shithole. <laughs> Damn. So, like, businessmen and business women stay there, right? When they have meetings. And well, they probably. Think did you that, see him? They probably did think you see him? Macaulay Culkin? I saw Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Why yeah. is it a shithole? That's like I can't even afford to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not Macaulay Culkin. Well, I mean, yeah, right. Macaulay but Culkin. But then again, isn't he like a crackhead? So like, <laughs> no, he can't talk about shitholes. He probably <laughs> <Former> squats <laughs> in houses that are like fucking foreclosed or something. He probably yeah. carries a spoon with him. Macaulay like, Culkin. At all time. Well, he he grew up he grew up in that Home Alone house. That was actually his house. It's in. Uh, was it so, really? It's in no. No, well, I mean he's not a crackhead. Fun anymore. fact: Macaulay he Culkin grew up p- homeless. He made that pizza underground band. Like, That's true. Cool. They sold pizza as they played. No, it was just they 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 covered <laughs> They're baking ve- pizza. They covered like singing velvet underground. Got a large pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> they covered a velvet underground songs, but they changed all the That's lyrics to lame. pizza related things. <laughs> That's how much money he has. He has so much money. He doesn't do that anymore. He makes though. his really? own pizza. No, he doesn't. I hate that. <laughs> I hate him and everything he stands for. <laughs> all right. So this should go without saying, but Home Alone is not a movie in which should be emulated. However, this is exactly what happened recently in Muncie, Indiana. I've heard of that. Damn. I've heard of Muncie before. Well, from of Parks and Indiana. Recreation? Yeah. 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 Dude, I'm rewatching it. I'm on season, like, season four. I, I don't think I ever got past season four. Can You're I a piece water? of shit. Yeah, good ass show. I mean, if you want. I'm getting thirsty at watching you yeah, drink water. I'm mad that you're the only one who has something to drink. Do you guys want? Yeah. <laughs> you have your Jaeger. Yeah, but I'm not, right, just, I'm not place. gonna. And you don't offer us anything. Oh but my god! Get your drink in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to take a pause so we can go get you some I drinks? I gave you a can yeah. of Arizona iced tea. Yeah, I left so for like two. I had to go outside to get you guys bottles of water. Uh-huh. And you guys come back and you're talking about. Tom Holland. Oh, we're yeah. talking about Venom, how huh? like just basically how our movies yeah, that well, end up we're becoming PG thirteen movies rated R movies, are, like, movies being changing the PG thirteen and them not being worth watching. Right. Oh, okay. And Venom, Venom was the was the movie that we were talking about, which okay. obviously led to Tom Holland. All right. Speaking of movies, back to the Home Alone story. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so after finding her two young sons left at a home unsupervised, police have placed the mother under arrest. Most uh, peculiar of all is that the children were discovered by the authorities while they were watching Home Alone. But how old were these kids? Also, how did the police find out? Right. We'll, we'll jump into it. Okay. Do you guys remember being left alone at home when you guys were... Yes. Hell no, my yes, parents would never want to leave I'd home be left alone, alone really? if everyone else was there, like my brother. Well, I mean, yeah, I was going to say, technically Home Alone would just mean my parents not being there. You're talking about right, like right. by myself when, or like when no have parents. Your, when, every, when was the time where your parents left and they're like, yeah, they're fine? Even if you're with your siblings, like... As soon as my brother was, like, 15. Really? It, yeah. it took until then for them to be like, all right, I can leave the house to go, well, to, yeah, to, because, go to work? Because once my brother was old enough to be home alone, they were like, okay, he'll just watch Eric. Because I was only two years younger than him, so uh-huh. I was fine. Plus, he got out of school earlier, uh-huh. I think is what it was. Mm-hmm. So I'd be coming home and they'd make him pick me up from the bus stop. And so, then we'd only be home alone for like two or three hours. It wouldn't be like a whole night. It would just be like no. Okay, that's fair. So, but Alan was four. So you were like twelve when you started getting left home alone. Yeah. And then what about you, Ivan? I was way younger than that, solely because my brothers are a lot way, older, way older than you, right? Than, yeah. What's the closest? Chris is is three years older. Uh, Joey is ten years older, and then Ricky, my oldest brother, is thirteen years. So old. when do you remember your parents leaving you guys alone, um, unsupervised? Sixteen. Sixteen. 
I was yeah. making like, what? So what would happen dude. if they wanted to go somewhere and you didn't want to go? You Honestly, go they they would like force me because yeah, okay. I was gonna say they so like they take to answer to like answer to answer the first question. Uh -huh. uh, my parents would leave me home alone with my sister, like right when I was like seven. Oh, or you eight. do have your older and sister. Then, I forgot about. And that. then I broke my wrist. I broke Ooh. my wrist while my sister was supposed to be <laughs> watching me. I, I've been. What were those he motions said. you were just making? <laughs> Man, I'll be see. Look, I'm gonna get that chunk. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather have broken my wrist like whacking my dingus at eight years old but honestly like i jumped off the couch and i did like this <laughs> flip in midair and i landed on my arm i feel like you get, i feel so like then, in your head it looked cooler than what it really was yeah man yeah and he was like <laughs> I said, he tried, straight down he's like i'm gonna do the flip and he jumped off he just landed straight <laughs> <on his wrist. laughs> so like after after i broke my wrist they were like okay well you know you're not looking after him anymore because you know you suck at looking after him <laughs> even though it was completely my fault uh -huh. um and then after that like you know my parents are very very old school i think they're older than your guys' parents to be quite honest uh -huh. with you we were um, just having that kind yeah of my mom's 80 so <laughs> <laughs> kidding, she's like um yeah so like uh -huh. even at 15 and 14 my mom's like yeah i don't want to leave him alone like he's young he's young and my dad's like he's 14 15 like i think he can be okay and like every time before they leave me alone my mom would be like don't you be like you know don't use the stove to turn on this. Don't da da da. She's like, basically, if you want to eat, there's the microwave. And I'm like, mom, I think I know how to she use. She's like, the stove. don't try. To <laughs> so he puts a uh, can of beans closed in the microwave. <laughs> basically, yeah, man. So hey, it was. Want it was. Beans? It was shitty, man. Because they like they just honestly, till I was like 15, then they were like, all right. Even my niece, who's like 15 nowadays, like my mom will kind of like wig out a bit. She's like, oh, she's home alone. I'm thinking like. My knees can be okay. Yeah. Like, you know, she knows how to use yeah. a phone. She's aware of, like, if shit goes down, like, you know, what to uh, do. But, Gibby, you know yeah. what? You know what's terrible, but I feel like you know exactly what I'm talking about. What's up? When you said that you broke your wrist, I thought of that Reddit story of that guy who broke both of his wrists. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. dude no, what's no, the story no, you guys are talking no, no, about? No, 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 dude, that's some, that's some Game of Thrones type of shit. All right. There's this. Was it a, it's a, is it real before I tell it? Is it real or is it, cause um, I don't know like fully details. I'm I feel, honestly, I want to feel. Was it an AMA or was feel. it just like a. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say it's one of the real stories that's on Reddit. But I mean, like, like he was saying like this is really happened, not like a joke. No, it's been a right. while since I've read it. So I, I don't so, remember the details. The gist of it is that this dude broke both of his wrists, right? And so his, his mom would take care of him. And, oh, <laughs> you know. yeah. and uh -huh. then he she took care of him and, for him, and then it just yeah, yeah. and then it just kept escalating. Yeah, to, and then did it get any farther? Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Oh God, yeah. this is a, like a kid and his mom. Well, not necessarily. I, mean, I, don't, a kid, I don't know how like, old yeah, he was, but, but it was yeah, a guy was, with yeah, his, his guy. Uh, and it was a long time. Like it was a thread because on Reddit you can do like yeah. a, you know question yeah, and updates and shit. And so like, people would just kept asking him question after question. Like, uh -huh. About the whole situation. Is that what happened with you when you broke your wrist? <laughs> so, no, yeah, when I heard I, I broke my wrist, and then my mom, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> your mom, what? Listen, listen, listen. Your mom, listen, what? I'm listen. calling the police. Calling I broke, the police I right broke now. one wrist, and it was, was my your left right hand. hand. No, it was my left hand. Damn, I'm so actually right-handed. <laughs> Are so, you ready? I'm left-handed for oh, only okay. one thing. All right. <laughs> so let's. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> spaghetti night. Oh, God. He eats spaghetti with his left hand. <laughs> That's it. But uh, I remember being left home alone, like, in middle school, like, early middle school. Yeah, like, I was maybe, like, six or seven. Like, in sixth grade, I'd be left alone. Like, I'd be by well, myself. Well, in, in middle school, Alex used to live right behind our school. Mm -hmm. So, my parent, because Alan would be home alone, my parents would let me just go over to the, his house and then, like two or three hours after school and the day would just pick me up so that's, cool. that's what i would do yeah that's why me and alex hung out so much and that's why we're good friends cause yeah oh, he I'd tells me all the time how much he hates you yeah <laughs> like i don't know where we we're have like, a sad we're like talking about like hamburgers and he's like man i fucking hate eric <laughs> <That's his laughs> okay all right then of course what that has to do with it of course burger. that's a movie about <laughs> about young children who uh house was burglarized whatever then we give some shit about that uh, fortunately, it was the police who found the kids instead of the robbers, but now the mother is considered a criminal. According to local police, the mother in question says that she was unable to secure a babysitter for her two sons for the day. One of them was aged seven. The other one was aged four. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, see, that's like, yeah, no, that, that, okay. At that point, I'm like, no. I feel like under 10, you shouldn't even think about it. I thought she was going to say alone. seven. And then like fourteen or 15. right, yeah, right. <laughs> seven Even and young, four, yeah, no, so seven okay, and four, they, yeah, that, together think... they make an eleven year old. <laughs> <laughs> so is, that's why they could be left alone. Which is barely old enough to no, <laughs> not even. 
<laughs> what did you guys get into when you guys were home alone? I would just like play video games. That's all I want. <laughs> do, do you really uh, want to know that answer? Probably just watch. I'd probably just watch TV for a lot longer. Because I'd always be with my brothers. Really- so. Wouldn't want me to watch TV for too long, so right. I would sit there for like straight from home and just watch TV like, <laughs> or play on... video. I play. I'd play. Uh, no, no, what it was? I'd play Rock Band really loud. Nice. <laughs> That's what it was. I love that one. You know, everybody. Dude, like, I played like, it super house. loud. I remember one time I was playing it like really, really loud, uh-huh. and my dad came in. and He's like, "I can hear that shit from outside." And I was like, <laughs> "I'm playing." Like, like, no, yeah. Daddy, no. I was playing. <laughs> I was playing uh, <laughs> That's a bro. I was playing yeah, uh, "Welcome a, Welcome a, Home" by Kohad nice. Cambria. Did, did you stop relaxed. playing when he walked nope. in? Or you... <laughs> I just kept going. He's, He's like, like "Turn that shit down," I and I was like, "I I can't." <laughs> I was, I was He's like, that. "What? I can't hear you. The music's too loud." <laughs> it's it not a gold star. This dad, don't fucking disrupt me right now. <laughs> I was, yeah, it was. It don't was even pretty bad. think about it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right, so she couldn't find a babysitter for her two sons. Uh, she took the older one out of school for the day, and she asked him to babysit his younger brother. <laughs> so she did two things wrong. <laughs> what? She deprived her son of education <laughs> and she left him alone with a younger son. Yeah. Put him in both She's like, hey, second grader, can you take care of this pre kindergarten? <laughs> oh my God. Dude. It's Star Wars night on HBO. That's dude. rough. The mother then went to work, leaving the two alone when they were noticed by a neighbor who called the police. So if you leave your kids alone, you got to board up the windows. Don't let the neighbors see. I like how the, I mean, it's not their fault, but I like how the neighbor, instead of like, oh, I guess I'll go take care of them. They're like, nah, let me call the police. I don't want to fucking deal with the kids. Like, well, see, like, I feel like uh, this next part makes me feel like they could have been left alone. Hold on. Let me go back to it. Uh, well, I mean, wouldn't Home Alone be a good movie to watch Home Alone? Because you would be like, oh, if I was like someone that happened, I could just right, base can, it off of this. Yeah, I could. But you I can definitely murder two yeah, people. Yeah, I they, was going to say, though, but if you, if you did the stuff he did in that movie, you'd probably actually kill someone. Yeah, completely. Do you guys have, no, do you guys have marbles just ready for a, I was, a home I, yeah, intrusion? I was, like, I was watching it yesterday, right? The second one. Mm-hmm. And there's this scene where he come he comes across the two crooks from the first one. And he just like books it. He starts running. And they're going after him. Uh-huh. And he comes across, like, outside some building out in New York, like, this this guy selling, like, pearl necklaces uh-huh. randomly at some table. And I'm He's like, like, hey, Macaulay Culkin, do you want a pearl necklace? Yo, but... <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. Let's keep, let's keep this PG-13. <laughs> like, man, what are the odds that there's a guy out selling pearl necklaces at the time this guy's running away from these two crooks? And, like, he gives them five bucks and gets, like, two necklaces, and he drops them. And they're, like, in this small area, and, like, uh-huh. this, like, two-by-two-foot area... And these guys run into it and they like they bust their shit. And I'm thinking, no reasonable adult would walk straight into these fucking <laughs> pearls that they clearly saw this kid drop. Like they could have just walked if, around. If you were gonna come up with like a oh I guess let me let me jump to this next part. But this is why I feel like uh they should have been able to be left alone. When officers arrived, the seven year old called the ant because he was instructed not to open the door for anyone when the aunt arrived later she let the officers in and discovered that the children were coincidentally watching home alone until a decided time omar and then uh the mother was then placed under arrest and charged with two counts of neglect of a dependent and one count of (laughs) but uh yeah so that's why she was arrested so see they could have been left alone they wouldn't have opened the door for anyone I i think the real question though is uh where was Chungus? And <laughs> but well, it, like, it's good that they know that already. Like, the kid knows. Okay, don't open the door for anybody. Even but cops. Also, like, what if something happened when they're there inside the house? Like what? Like he tried to cook for his brother or something and doesn't know how to do anything. And he Easy Mac. The house on fire. Easy Mac. Easy Mac. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. I don't know. Yeah, no. They, good they, thing they're okay, but that was fucking dumb. Of, of <laughs> what uh, did you guys ever think when you were home alone? Like someone is breaking in, or what would I do if someone broke in? I you still think have. about that because yeah. I'm laying like yeah, laying in bed like it's like two in the morning. Uh-huh. So obviously nobody's gonna be coming to the house. Um, and I'm like Joey's already home, and I he- I'll hear something. And I'm like, oh my god, is that the door? Am yeah, I'm gonna have to get up and like fight somebody off. <laughs> and I'm like already going through a plan in my head. Yeah. All right, if they come in I with a gun, I'm gonna too. hide. I do the or, same. You know what thing. I mean? Like, <laughs> Wait, but yeah, you live you live like. Four hours away from here, so what? No, no, not back there. I'm talking about like here. Oh, like, here. I'm at home and I hear like my door move. I'm like, I already I go swear. through a whole scenario. Yeah, just I'm, in like, case I'm like, I'm like, I swear, if I have to this. like Yo, hurt someone, I'm I'd, going I'd, to. I'd probably end up getting killed, man. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably, at look. Probably I'll be, be at killed. my house, and there's uh, time where I sometimes see shit moving from like the corner of my eye, or I hear a noise, and honestly, I won't even budge to look at it. I'm just like. <laughs> 
Oh, that was weird. Man, I'm good. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like all right. He said, Dan, this is really it. And then, yeah, <laughs> like, I swear to God, like, I, I yeah, don't, like, I don't guy, huh? budge. Like, I hear, unless, unless uh, it sounds bad, like, I'm like, yeah, it's probably not important. <laughs> so, I, like, so I think someone from behind just going to whack someone you. Someone could probably, like, rob my whole house as I'm, like, watching TV, and I'll think it's, like, my mom or something. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm not. I'm why like, are you making I'm, somebody trips out the house with that stuff? <laughs> I'm like, oh. Ma, why are you wearing that ski mask? I'm so like, why are you on. six feet tall now? <laughs> uh, my dad said that some one of the guys that he worked with, uh, they robbed his house while everyone was in the living room. It was an apartment, so it was a one-bedroom apartment. Everyone was in the living room, and then they it was on the first floor, so they hear noises, and they just see a dude walking out the TV that was in the bedroom outside that door. Jesus. What, what did they do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> they, they watched him leave. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's hilarious. <clears throat> what the fuck? Uh, the thing I was just thinking right now is because I have some Legos in my room. I'm like, if I heard someone trying to, like, someone break in. You'd build something. Uh, no, <laughs> I'd build a gun. He'll build a sign that says, please leave me alone. <laughs> no, I'd probably break them, and then I'd put them in front of the door, but then I thought about it, like, if they're robbing my house, they probably wouldn't take their shoes off. But don't they, don't they have, don't they have to, like, ask for consent to, like, rob you? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't give them consent. I'd be yeah. like, hey, man, I, I don't give you permission to steal. Vampires would be the worst at robbing people. That's true. Because they have to be invited into yeah, your yeah, house. Yeah, you have to let them in. Dude, that'd yeah. be a good plot for a movie, though. A, a vampire who's a thief. <laughs> and he comes with the clever ways to be invited. Yo, I did house. think about that. I was uh, watching Castlevania, like that would uh, be a good out in the cow, and I thought that'd be nice and a nice twist. I'm sure it already exists, but like in a movie where Dracula exists, mm-hmm. and like we we're not aware that this character is Dracula, but like the whole time he never walks inside this person's house. Each time they come ringing, uh, like you know knocking, mm-hmm. until one day this person's like, you know, please come in, and he walks in, and that's the subtle like nod to let you know this is Dracula. But the whole time you're probably not thinking about this shit. But like I said, and I'm sure this in is... and bites his neck, and then have you guys that, seen, have you guys seen be, what we do in the shadows? The that would be a creep. No, is that good? That, that, that was a really good movie. Which one? That, they follow that premise. It's about like vampires, dark living, shadows. What we do in the shadows. Oh, it follows vampires that were vampires like in the 1700s until now, and it's uh they're trying to go out hunting, so they're, they're trying to bring a girl back to their house, and the best place to pick up girls is the club. So they go to the club, and then they're trying to get the bouncers to invite them in. <clears throat> so then they Wait, can bring is this a, a funny movie? Or it's a, a comedy. I was, yeah, I'm like, I'm like yeah, <laughs> this is like, not like, sound suspenseful like, at all. I was going to say, I thought that was going to be crazy. Wasn't it no. made by the guy who made uh, Thor Ragnarok? Three is it? I have no idea. Yeah, Taika Watiti. <laughs> I don't have no idea. idea. Name. I swear He's from yeah. New Zealand. Oh, it's it's a New Zealand movie, so that might be. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I think an Zimbabwe. actual horror movie where like it's like yeah, yeah, like what he said. You know, you you meet like it's like you think it's your new neighbor and like you invite him in and he keeps coming every now and then and then like but he just kept coming. Yeah, shows, shows up in your like, house one night and like and starts you killing go, you and you find out that he's like a van. He's like a three thousand year old vampire. Dude, that'd <laughs> yeah. be cur- that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'd watch that shit. What were we I'd talking about? Friend. Home Alone. Oh. Home Alone. Okay. <laughs> I like no, that, that's pretty much it. She uh, she got arrested for for leaving her two well, kids alone. Well, good for her. <laughs> I mean, good, good for the kids. No, just I no. Mean, they got taken they... away from her. They're being super. They they got taken to some oh. relatives' house. Yeah, she got her kids taken away for that, dude. I mean, I mean like the thing about that age, like because like my dumb ass when I was six, I was at home with my parents. They like stop looking at me for like one second. They stopped looking at my me dumb ass. Age seven. My dumbass goes and asks if I can get a, a juice box, right? Juice World. They're like, yeah, sure. I knew the, those little cabinet where we where we always held them. It was uh, the high C ones. He was he started drowning inside the juice. No, so I I open it and I see, oh man, this one's unopened. So I have to get the plastic open, right? I'm trying to do it with my hands, can't do it. So I'm like, let me grab a knife. <laughs> I'm like, oh, just cut it open. So my dumbass is trying to cut it open. I'm like, oh, wait, how old, 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 old are you? Fucking hands in the way. I was six. Oh my god! So, okay. so you I had a knife. And finally, you had... get it through, but my thumb was also in the way. Mm. So, whack, right into my thumb, I look, and it just starts coming out like fucking frozen yogurt or something. <laughs> oh, like, I've been what's like, your blood so thick? Chunky, what yeah, the... why, you got chunky blood. I'm just no. I'm just saying, like it just come like it's a, it was a it big came. ass fucking cut. Like, I'm having and one. I, like I didn't feel it at it's first because I was just like. What did I just do? And I'm like, Dad. I was like, Bruh, <laughs> bro, I'm thumb. dying, bro. <laughs> like, bro. My dad was like, What the fuck did you just do? Like, I I cut my I cut my thumb open, sticking my my 
my thumb in the opening of a can. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, too, like, that's understandable. I, opened, I, I forgot what I was it. drinking. Well, have I, you been I, opening cans wrong? I, I think it was just a regular like Jesus Sprite. Jesus. I opened it and the thing didn't the go. The, you know, the little, the little tab didn't yeah. go Sprite. all the way down. It's cranberry so Sprite, I, I, <laughs> I stuck my thumb in and went like this. And then instead of pulling it straight out, I went like this. Oh, you twisted? I did a twisting thing and I just went... And I like cut my oh, thumb, bro. Like, bruh. I, like it wasn't, it wasn't even like, like diagonal. It was like this, and I was like, oh, gross. and I was like, ah, oh. and I was in my uncle's car, and I was like, That's I'm bleeding. <laughs> Wait, how old are you at this point? Probably like twelve. What was in the can? I remember that was the last. It was Sprite. That was the last. That was Sprite. That was the last time. No, no, what it was? It might have been Dr Pepper because that was the because uh, I got sick that day. And I was drinking Dr. Pepper and I was eating uh, Burger King chicken fries. <laughs> and that was the last time I did both of that. I don't but eat. <laughs> that was the last you time you did Dr. both of them? Yeah. yeah. Or chicken had fries. Pepper in years, but it is a, Man. <laughs> Dude, they made me sick. You like, I threw up, out. like, in my in my uncle's Gross. Mouth. I was like, this is bad. <laughs> and I just, not, I violated. Wow. I remember uh, when I was left home alone with my sisters, we would play hide and seek and we would hide inside the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What's somebody turn it on? I mean, then we would have died. Yeah. What I don't do you, think you would you have mean? died right away, would you? I'm here for a fun time, not a long time. <laughs> if, you, if you fit yeah. in it, you would just spin, right? But, I mean, it'd be really, really, really hot. Really fucking hot. Yeah, and then plus, yeah. because it's like... Jam just walked into the building. And now I'm sad. Are you sitting Are you sitting there or over there? Como una flor, como una flor. Hold on. Encantador, encantador. I'm already upset that Jam came. You were right about your comment. See what I mean, guys? Oh, I just got the reverb on. Do it again. Actually, don't. I don't want to do that again. Hello, fellas. What lady up? On the fellas. Well, lady fellas. Oh, you warm. Cold. I'm feeling very toasty. <laughs> feel, the, feel the inside of this hoodie. He said, feel That's the inside like of my shirt. <gasps> That's nasty. Yeah. It's <laughs> really yeah, Kimmy came all sweaty for it? some reason. Yeah, a whole chunk Sweaty for Ivan. Yeah, why are you sweating? I, like, all these, all these, like, my hoodie and everything that I'm wearing was straight from the dryer. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm very cozy. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What were we just talking about? Oh, right, we were moving to our second news story. Oh yeah. All right, Ivan. You want to you want to kick it off? I guess so. All right. <laughs> that was jam dying. I got two stories. I'm not sure which one. Do you guys want to read one that has to do with down south or ba- or over here locally in Illinois? Let's do a local story. All right. Yeah, local. All right. So, did you guys hear about that uh, YouTube video? This guy who made a, a package that would uh, oh, glitter bomb I, I already people. know what you're talking uh-huh. about. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I know of it. So just a story. The guy's name. Hey, wait, is, that was out here. Well, yeah, I'll get to that in okay. just a second. Um, so his name's Mark Rober. Um, if you haven't seen the video, you should see it. it's pretty entertaining either way. But uh, so what he did is that he ha- he noticed that one time, like a couple maybe months ago, before the video was made, somebody stole his package right uh, right off his door because he had like a ring thing so he saw people uh uh-huh. walk right up and take the package i think he's had it have it had it happen to him several times already so he that would tired ex- of it that would explain like you know the, the fact that he knew someone was gonna take it it makes sense right. okay so he's like okay i'm tired of this shit i want to prank these motherfuckers that take my packages so it literally took him years actually now that i think about it, it took him like a year and a half to make this but he made him a box that had um that had like phones with cameras ready to start up like when somebody would open the package and then i had like a cylinder fan that yeah the dude was like there. a like an ex nasa engineer yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so he knew i was, his I was shit. gonna say i'm like yeah he like had this. help from a friend that knows more of like electrical stuff but in general he like he knows how to design shit like this so basically the this sounds like the ultimate that, trojan horse right this sounds like the ultimate trojan <laughs> so horse the way it was set up is that you take it and he'd have a gps on it that would go off once it noticed it was being moved so it would go off, you track it, but when they open it, there was cameras to sh- see their mm-hmm. like reaction, and a glitter like f- bomb would go off, and then it would also spray uh, fart spray. So mm, it smelled so it smell like shit. So it was just a compilation of him making it, showing how it works, and then people's reactions to it, stealing the So box. it was multiple people that have right. stolen it. Wow. Um, but I didn't know the <laughs> way it worked. It wasn't just from his house every time. This this con- like piece of the story is important. He would like give the box to people that say like, Hey, I need your help with a project. You want to hold this box on your porch to see what somebody would steal it. And they'd be like, okay. So it would be a compilation of, it was, I'm sure the first one was like at his place, but the rest are supposed to be different people's houses and different people's reactions, which I didn't know. 
But uh, <laughs> this this uh, article says one of the best viral videos of the year was at least partially staged. Basically, what happened is that uh, uh, some like people noticed that they recognized like the car that was taking one of the boxes. Or something, uh-huh. Right. Um, let me read this part of this the article. Is a- um, I wish I could do that. <laughs> so it says the video attracted the attention of internet sleuths who noticed that one of the alleged porch bandits, one of them seemed to be a neighbor of Rober's friend. That's the guy who made the video, uh, CC, and that a car used in a heist was parked right in front of her house in Pittsburgh, California. People on Reddit and Twitter also pointed out that the thieves' reaction to being sprayed with glitter and fart spray was a tad too laid back to be real, and that no one had called the police to report any of the package thefts. I mean, Which, I mean, it's for his own video, so. Right. He doesn't have to report it. Right. He's like, I don't oh, get they... that part, though. Because yeah. like, uh, the people who had the packages that got it stolen from the porches were all told, like, hey. I'm right. They were, they were Why aware. Why would they call the police if he, they know it's going to be stolen? Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I don't get that part. I could see why they're suspicious of it being fake. But I, that part's weird. But anyways. So on Thursday, he admitted on Twitter that portions of the video were probably staged, but insisted he had nothing to do with it. In his admission, Rober wrote that he reached out to people willing to put a package on their porch And a quote-unquote friend of a friend volunteered. And then he says, It appeared in these two cases that thieves were actually acquaintances of the person helping me. Um, From the footage I received from the phones, which only recorded at a specific time, this wasn't clear to me. I've since removed those reactions from the original video. Oh, so it turns out viral video was fake. Well, partially. What? Because only (laughs) a couple of them were like that. It's only everything that's So it's like, let's say uh, Omar makes the box, right? Mm -hmm. And then he comes to me, he's like, Hey, do you want to participate in this? Just hold the box in your porch. I'm like, okay. And he'll maybe he told me like somebody's gonna steal it to see what happens, right? So I go and like, hey, Eric, come steal this package instead of just waiting for it. Oh, happen. like waiting for someone to actually steal it. So, they so, would tell someone else like, hey, come take this box. Right. So okay, it's me I, telling I, you. I so would, steal it, it. would it be my reaction to just taking this box, not knowing, or they'd be like, hey, this box is gonna do the something. Box. Come take it. Right. So like you already know, so it's faked because you know something's gonna happen. Oh. In I general, thought it was going to be more of entire, like he yeah. tells you like, hey, get people to take it. And then you just would tell me like, hey, come pick up this box and take it and open no, it. No, so the way it was supposed to work is if he goes to somebody, tells them, hey, leave this por- like leave this on your porch and then just wait for it to be stolen. And that's it. But so a few of the people he hey, told told them <laughs> to steal the the package. So that kind of obviously fakes the whole so like, thing. This story, this story would be a lot funnier if if what like, if you did what yeah, Gibby was doing, and every time they keep saying box, Gibby just keeps whispering pussy. Oh, no, because y'all, yeah, <laughs> he didn't know what box. Y'all, y'all know what the box is? Y'all eat the box? <laughs> hey, you know what a whispering eye is, though? Huh? You know what a whispering eye is? It's when you queef, isn't it? No, no that's it just is. your bum. No, it is not. That's your chungus? It's a box. Nope. <laughs> it's a whispering eye, it's a box. <laughs> Hey, y'all ever eat chungus before? <laughs> Lechuga. Lechungus. <laughs> y'all ever eat that? Chungus. Hot, hot chungus before? Oh, man. Is there anything chungus. else to that story? Should we go well, to another one? Hand but, uh, box. He's actually, I didn't know he's actually from Wilmette. Do you guys know that? Oh, I know oh. that. Where they filmed oh, so that's Home Alone. Home Alone. That's why I wanted to do this story. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I All got right. a quick story if y'all fellas don't mind. Nah. I don't know if on like, the, on the <laughs> fellas. Said, nah. you guys nah. got <laughs> Go for Go it. I'm yeah. just saying I have a story. Oh, well, I have to find about chungus. Yeah, how many how many chungai are in it? Um. <laughs> Chingy, boy. How many <laughs> references to chungus is there? If it's anything below six, we're not hearing it. It does have to do with ass, but hold on first. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, guys, and that's the end of Jam's segment. She is now leaving. <laughs> that's not Chungus, that's <laughs> Bungus. <laughs> she's no, voice it's Youngus. <laughs> Wait, what is that? One more time. She's voice pitched down. Can you play it closer to the mic? One more time. The picture is of him squished. It's Fat Yoshi. I would not have guessed he made all those noises. He went, boom, Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, I would not have guessed he made all So is that like a normal pitch? Like that what the person sounds like? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's so. that's probably weird. his normal voice. I wouldn't want to be in the studio while that's being recorded. I'd walk away. Yeah. Prim. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded Italian though. <laughs> yeah, he does. But it's probably yeah, a Japanese man. <laughs> Italian sound effects? He's, they said uh <laughs> What's a good what's a good Japanese name? Uh, Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. Hey Yoshi, 
do your best Italian impersonation. He went, Boop-preem. Impressination. <laughs> Impregnation. Impressive. Yeah, impregnate the best Italian. <laughs> All right, fellas, you ready for this? On the fellas. Chungus. Man accused of bomb threat said he only meant to blow up the bathroom with a bowel movement. <laughs> Damn, he said, I'm just waiting until I blow up. We can't pretend <laughs> like, act I don't like a no nobody. nobody. <laughs> 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 I, I did that the other day. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had it happen before, but you blew up two, the yeah, two, two like nights. Oh uh, no, two mornings ago, I went into the bathroom and I just and I I literally it made a shotgun. Because <laughs> <laughs> I you sat got that down, shotgun diary. It went, <laughs> yeah, it went, <laughs> and then just the entire and toilet was destroyed. <laughs> it was a spray. <laughs> did you get like, all of it? Did that's you get so, so It was like a sawed-off shotgun. It went, <laughs> and that was done. That was all of it. Y'all, I love my. You man. hear the shells hit the ground. Yeah. It was like air mixed with like. Resi- residue. Like, <laughs> oh. How much liquid. water went back up into you? Uh, none, but like it was liquid. It wasn't a solid. All right, no fellas, backsplash. I got Ooh. quenched in. Okay. All right, so everybody knows <laughs> this is what Eric hates. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all got a hair yet. I know each one of you has more hair than I will ever have, and I any shave. other woman will ever have. I so. shave. So how do y'all clean your poopoo butt? I shave. Like, what toilet know, paper? I know yeah, y'all get mud butt. By white Listen, No. Check this literally, out. I, that's no. That's I spread my legs, and I bend my knees, and then I shave. <laughs> do you actually? Oh, I thought we were talking I about it. <laughs> do you I, really? I'm trying to find that video. I shave. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking. I wouldn't put it past you if you shave. I'm not going to question it. I I'm shave. just going to. Be- you know what? I believe Gibby. I feel like he puts deodorant on it, too. No one's asking my question. <laughs> Listen, I did okay. when I was like 14. <laughs> On the quality of the toilet paper, sometimes it just breaks apart. I've never had that happen to me. I grab like three, like I rip off like three times the same amount. Three of tiles. Paper and clean that. <laughs> three <laughs> tiles. Three tiles of the toilet. He's I like, yeah, this one good piece. <laughs> go in, rip on. Yeah. I, 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 do, I, do. I use a lot I use of toilet a lot. paper. I probably use too much. Well, I mean, he like, had a big guess, ass. He has yeah. a big. He has a big ass. I'm just saying. Like, but um, also, you either use a lot or you have mud butt. Yeah, so right. I'm good. I'll pass on the mud butt. No, I. I use a lot. I don't use any toilet paper. I just go into the shower and then uh, he have have <laughs> yeah, just spread my cheeks and then just have the water running <laughs> just as as hard as it possibly goes. I make my own bidet. But upside down, Sometimes right? But upside down. Yeah, you lay upside down. You go like that. Bro. <laughs> Who made that noise? <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. We're finding out new things Hey, man, each other. so tell me why. There's been a real stinky area in our store, mm-hmm. specifically in the women's coats. Oh. Bruh. Turns out, because we were moving some coats around, in the floor-length coats, there was a balled-up T-shirt where you oh, open no. it and it went like Velcro. Oh, no. What it have? It looked like someone took their three fingers, like their index, middle, and ring, scraped poop out their butt, and dragged and wiped, balled it up, tucked it in like this inch crevice in the racks, left it there, had to have been there at least two months. Every time we would walk past like all of like my yeah, workers took, and So stuff, what you're saying is it took you two, it took you guys two months. <laughs> yeah, all I'm getting out of this story. Yeah. <laughs> and since it hasn't been snowing, the coats haven't been selling. Maybe maybe if they shaved, they wouldn't have had to use a whole T-shirt. I'm saying. <laughs> but the thing is, is that those price that checks issue. was not five feet away from it, and the price check things have a trash can in it. Why not just throw the fucking shirt away? Because they didn't want to be seen throwing a shitty right. shirt away. But also, why did you not go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah we literally... We, they probably mistrusted a fart. Eric honestly. had a pee-pee, and we went to that store so he can go pee-pee. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why y'all say it like that? Pee 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 pee. I don't like you had a pee pee. Yeah, you said you I have to make pee-pee. the pee pee, and he said yes. Yeah, I can't just say like bleed the lizard or something. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is a family show. Yeah, listen, we only talk about chunks. I shave. <laughs> chunks. I, sh- so, I shave. That's all I'm saying. Is that true or not, though? Because I need to just know that I shave. That's it. <laughs> if you're talking about like, that's all I'm if saying. You're talking I'm about, if you're talking about your boy parts in general, the fact that that's how you do it is still kind of weird. Yeah. What do you mean? He says that he gets down on his knees and then shaves. <laughs> No, I don't get on my knees. He gets on he his squats. knees. He squats. He squats. No, he, no, he gets on his knees. He goes, squat. He looks over and does it in the mirror. I do a Because if crab that's stance. how you shave in general, that's kind of weird. I Y'all do, remember the first time you I saw your bubble? I do a crab stance. Never. You've Actually, never seen your bubble? Yeah, I've never seen my bubble. I've never seen it. I've seen other people's buttholes. Why don't boys yeah. ever get curious about their own body? I've seen a butthole. I mean, I have. When I was like, seen one, And then, I've never seen my own. You've seen one? I've never had the means. 
know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Eric said he's seen one. So we had a jam session earlier. When's your la- when was your Whoa. last jam session? Jam when session. was your last jam session? That could be interpreted completely different. I'm about to have a jam session. I'm, I'm about happened. to have one right now. Puts the sock on the door. I'm like, yeah, let's get out of here. Tell me what I thought. I was on like, I was thinking list. about if that would be a funny joke to say or not. <laughs> I was like, we had our jam session. When was the last time you had? Your... <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, y'all ever went to I don't work and know. your hair was crusted? <laughs> hair was crusted. Crested? Crested. 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 My Crested. hair? Why Omar doesn't like, know? Like, Omar doesn't know how to aim. Yeah. <laughs> you guys oh. want to hear something gross? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what? That you don't it's know how to aim? Funny. Funny. It's kind of, It's kind of funny, and I was really impressed. Like, like so much so that he like had his hands on his hips. He said, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> he said. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear. Can we get, can we get gunshots right. in the? <laughs> <laughs> No guns. No. I want to hear the story. Yeah, let's add some guns. No, I mean, there's not much to the story other than... The, like, we were the, making marital love. And then... Uh, I mean, you guys are married, though. Yeah, premarital love. <laughs> That's illegal. Love. Unholy love. <laughs> illegal love. <laughs> Which one of y'all is illegal? <laughs> unsanctioned love. All right, go on, go on. It was unsanctioned by the government. The government. And then... Uh, it, it was about to happen, so then I like you know take it out. He's, it's happening, <laughs> and then it happened, <laughs> and literally went five feet away from me. Oh my! Like it, in the opposite like, direction, it, it went. It shot five it, feet so it shot the over you like, completely. So, like I got a little bit of residue like on my nose or something, <laughs> but I felt it hit. <laughs> behind me wait where was Honestly, this I don't want to sit here I'd probably be impressed I'd probably be impressed too I'm not gonna lie that, dude I would dude, I would've, I would've, I would've would have been like holy I'm shit like, what? <laughs> like, like I went up and my hand was like fully extended and she I felt to, the wet said, spot on the bed I'm like what she said I got it <laughs> it was literally like five, it went <laughs> don't worry feet. I got it <laughs> <And> she, <laughs> baseball mitt and everything and she just <laughs> It, Throws I it right back at Omar. That, I have a feeling that like, as he was, you know, he said, and out he put his thumb over the hole. <laughs> so like a hose, like, like the <laughs> hose, you put your thumb over it and it like squirts out this pressure. It was, it was pretty crazy. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that, I went to bed mad because the bed got crusty. <laughs> the be- uh, y'all went to sleep on a crusty bed. Dog, I sometimes can't that tell you happens. You said dog. Oh, sometimes, oh. sometimes that happens. Ivan, right. you lay on that bed. Yeah, all the time. Ivan, you got Omar's <laughs> crust on you. What are you doing on my bed? <laughs> he lays in it. He's getting crusted. <laughs> Guys. Oh god, let me see if I can find what uh I just picture you guys Wait, all you have a without photo? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I, I wanted to find he the Hank Hill. <laughs> can I we, get, to find can the... we get like a reenactment with like see like terrible CGI characters? All right. I want to see if I can find the Hank Hill when he gets in the car. Oh. Ooh, do you oh. have that Jeff? Oh my god, it's part of the uh, y'all be scared and be scared in the moments, but I need my girls here like <laughs> Oh, I thought it was those a memes video where he's already. like he's walking into the bathroom and he's like, "Ooh, I'm about to bust." What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you never heard of it. I've never seen it. But no, that was, that was probably the most impressive thing I've ever done. That's Out of everything I've ever sad. done. Oh, high five so. that. Oh, tweet is unavailable. Oh, it's gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Thank God. Because <laughs> the, the tweet was like uh, when yeah. the blowjob turns into a full-service car wash. And then <laughs> oh. it's Hank Hill going, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually had just saved a meme that has to do with that. It's with like, Hank Hill? No, Hank Hill. Captioned, Men scared to moan, I'd be in my girl ear like, Oh, God, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Mmm, <laughs> so good and tasty. Mmm. <laughs> 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 oh, I see that one. <laughs> She's like, she's like, don't bust yet. Oh, and it's me. God, it's so <laughs> it's the bottle of ranch said, slowly pouring out. <laughs> How do you do that noise? I want to do that. He's Italian. <laughs> you got to put that video on the, on the Facebook video. <laughs> it's, it's a guy making a sound. Is he, is he blind? <laughs> he's Italian. Is he wearing man. glasses? No, he's not. I thought he was blind. He's, he's Italian. <laughs> Just to put a little bit of that chungus on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ivan. I mean, I <laughs> that. We need more. I think. I, I think. I think this does something to Ivan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh sure. my so god. Put some in was that the end of your story? What, what was your story, even? Yeah, man, even. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> guys, be afraid to moan like. <laughs>
<laughs> boy, that's some yeehaw ass sucks. <laughs> Guys, boy, that's some little... like yeehaw ass sucks, boy. Like you <laughs> riding a horse. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He said, "Come down, Bessie." Whoa, what was his story anyway? <laughs> yeah, what was? Oh, story? he just. They thought it was a bomb threat at a restaurant because he said, I'm going to blow up the bathroom, but he just meant he's going to take a big poopy. And they caught the cops on him for Yeah, it? and there's like a picture of his mugshot. That's well, what, what does his mugshot look like? That's Did he get charged with anything? Uh, I hope not. Actually, I was going to do that story <laughs> last week, but I'm like, I don't know. Actually, he probably got charged with false endangerment or something yeah. like that. Is it like yelling fire at a movie theater? <laughs> yeah, or yeah. bomb in like the airport. Or like Chungus anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you get arrested for that. Makes people too excited. No, you. If, it's if you say Chungus at GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> if you say Chungus at GameStop, it is man, a federal offense. GameStop dies as a person. Low Employees piece, at the restaurant told police they had taken the threat seriously. One officer wrote that the manager was shaking as she spoke to the newspaper. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I never seen that big in there. my life. Does it say what it was? What it was in? What he was store? charged with a bomb threat. Yeah, oh you know, my hey, god! You know, Salvador, you remember that one time we went to? Um, that restaurant with Cisco, and there's that big ass poo in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Guys, that? I also have a story like that. <laughs> what? 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 Was it, it was Denny's? Gross. Did we go to no, Denny's? No, it wasn't Denny's. It was off of uh, it was off of uh, Sheridan, wasn't it? Or where, where was it? I don't remember where it was, but. <laughs> We went in there. Cisco was like, "Man, he's like, there's a big ass <laughs> shit in the toilet." <laughs> he was like, mad as hell. <laughs> oh, Wouldn't you be? I went to. I remember this vividly. I was seven years old, right? <laughs> Me and me and my uh, two of my brothers and my parents were out at the mall. Uh huh. And me and my brothers like asking, "Let's stop at Toys R Us." Okay, my parents take us. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, me and Chris had to to pee, so we're like, "Let's go to the bathroom." Joy went with us just to make sure we don't get lost. Right. <laughs> so we go. Oh, brothers are cute. I walk in. I pee and wash my hands, and then my brother walks in and just lets out the weirdest fucking sound. <laughs> Right? I can't. Oh, oh. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Did it sound wet? So he's like, immediately wet? he runs back out of the stall and he says, What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm like, What are you talking about? And he says, It's the biggest shit I've ever <laughs> seen in my life was sitting in the toilet, right? Uh, and me being curious, I'm like, I probably shouldn't look at that. But I'm like, But also, his reaction means it's probably interesting. <laughs> so I'm like, All right, let me see. I slowly peek over and literally there's like a football sized piece of <laughs> shit. Like, fucking <laughs> massive. Like, I have no fucking clue how that came out Bitch of a human thick. being. Like, the dude the dude okay. gave birth, I'm pretty much. Oh, like, I thought you were going to see her pregnant. I was like, <laughs> guys, I'm not kidding. It had to be at least this wide. Oh, my at God. At least the size right. of a... I know, I was playing. I'll do you one better. It was lost, it was like the size, it was it was the the size of a, a Chipotle burrito? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> And it was cone shaped like a football. That's why I remember it so well because it looked like a football. So it had like a nice lodged, kiss at the end. Yeah, and it was lodged it pull, in the toilet. Did it like, pull like a Loch Ness monster where like the tip of it was like <laughs> no. As a kid, it was. Did it take a picture thing. of it? Send it to the newspaper. Messy. My poop would messy. be so thick and God, hard messy. where I had to take a wire hanger and just. What the hell? That's the hell are you talking I, about? I'd, I'd flush it and be like, dope. And then I'd That's talk about the back neighbor's yard or something. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah. I haven't like twice. That dirty ass girl. <laughs> Bro, I'm you, calling the police. If you knew like Can we add gunshots what to my that? neighborhood was and like what my alley looked like, you would you would And what your sense. toilet looked like. There's, there's, there's just wire hangers. There's just alley. there's just shit covered <laughs> wire hangers all over I the alley. <laughs> Like oh, everywhere. Yeah. In my old navy chanclas, there was a piece of oh fucking wood in the God. alley that had a nail in it, and I stepped right through that bitch. Ooh. Rusted. <laughs> but I remember when I was in, at the uh, art institute, I always had to fart around like three o'clock, nine a.m. No, <laughs> sitting in my class, I'm like, oh man, my tripas hurt, and I could hear the, the grr, 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 in my stomach, and I'm like, all right, just a quick little poopy, I'm done. The bathroom, for whatever reason, was closed, so I had to go to the bathroom downstairs. Uh, men's bathroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and then I sit men's down, and house. it doesn't feel like much is happening until I get up and I look. No joke, this thing is the size of my forearm. <laughs> like, literally, it's sticking out of the water Damn, with how, how long it is. How are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, what is going on? Like, maybe even the same that? girth. Like, she, like, I pulls just a sock down. Down. She starts, like... <laughs> lifting off of the I sat down and it didn't feel like anything. 
Damn. <laughs> it, was, it was the best poop. I almost wanted to take a picture and send it to Omar. It was, it was coming out of the water. You should have. It was still hanging out of her. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> look, Somebody look what, I, look, is, look is what that, I'm doing. And it's you, like, you think I would have had mud butt, but I remember it was like a one-two wipe. I was done. You probably should have done more just ghost, in case. Ghost poops are like... They're the best. <laughs> Damn. Ghost poops. Oh yeah, man, man, that's crazy. Do I? I think. I'm sorry. Did I come here and derail this podcast? Uh, no, there wasn't no. on any rails to begin no. with. We were talking we were about off the rails to the beginning. Yeah. Do we have any more stories? Because we're we're already over time. <laughs> What's the time? Limit? Are there any more chunks? We, we probably stories? have we have five minutes left. I Eric, do you want to do a story before we close? Yeah, I got one. Can I tell a story about poop after he does? It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty quick. It'll stay on Here, you tell, tell that story while okay, it's still we, on topic. Because we were all talking about shit and sizes. Well, unless um, you want to close the episode with it. Is it is it a good well, closer? It, well, I mean, it's not very long. It's not. Well, the shit was long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, do it, do it. But it's like, I don't know. I don't want to deprive Eric from his story. No, give it's us the story. a we'll, I'm we'll saying it story. So. Okay. So, uh, like, back in high school, um, myself and friends would end up going to Buffalo Wild Things, right? We take nice. the bus. And we go there, and one of these friends is, uh, should I say his name? Can we leave out his name? Just yeah. I'm just going to say his name. Carlos. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. leave out his name. <laughs> because you're, you're staying cousin. in. And so, like, so, you know, after B-dubs, you know, the Walmart's right across the street. Uh-huh. So after, after you know, eating, like, 30 <laughs> wings, we're like, yeah, let's just go to, like, Walmart and walk around. And, and bullshit. You know, we're high schoolers, and, you know, we used to get kicked out all the time. Anyways, yeah. Johnny and, um... Carlos decided to go take a shit <laughs> together. Same toilet. Same yeah, time. dude. And I remember, I remember Carlos coming out, and he was like so shocked. He's like, "Dude, I just took like the <laughs> biggest shit." And I'm, I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Dude, he's like, it touched my ass." <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit, like, it was sticking now, and it touched his ass. He said he felt it. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, man? Did you go look? I know. I was, I was walking he around. Said, this was after he, he was said, done. said, no, let me see. <laughs> Dude, but his shit was, like, so I long. He, that, his shit was so long, it touched his ass. Oh, <laughs> God. I was like, I was like. Uh, I've never had to wipe my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Damn! Dude. All right, we got one one more story to close out the year with, Eric. This is the last one of the year, so Make the pressure's it. on, buddy. I hope it's another poop story. I hope yeah. so too. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess up saying this anyway. Uh, shirtless Vladimir Putin calendar is number one with Japanese women. <laughs> oh. the, the funny thing is, I've seen that calendar. Why would you see this calendar? The cover, his his eyes are like half open, like he's not doing a half blink. Yeah, um, and, and during the cover. Yeah, apparently many women in Japan are attracted to the Russian uh, autocrats. Ashamed, unashamed. My, I, this is. Can weird. I read this? Yeah, this might this? be like way too hard for Can me. Can I read this for you? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. This is a little bit easier. Uh, Vol- Vladimir Putin's don't Volkswagen. Don't <laughs> Vladimir Putin's dry, rugged sex appeal may be making Japanese women all hot and bothered. <laughs> It seems a 2019 calendar featuring the 66-year-old Russian president in various states of shirtlessness. Is he older than our president? How old is Donald Trump? Is the top? He's like a billion. Yeah, he's like that dude needs to lay. Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. I thought he was like in his 70s. No, Donald Trump is like either 60 or right about to hit 60. I really. There's no way he's in his 50s. Dude, there's 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 no way. There's no way. How old is Donald Trump? He has to be older than my dad. My dad's old. Donald Trump is 72 years old. Yeah, I told y'all. 72 what? years old. Yeah, I think he's, if y'all check, I think he's like the oldest president that we've had. Damn, I want to see him fight Vladimir Putin. Is he really Putin. the oldest? I don't think. I, I don't believe think, so. Don't, don't quote me on it, but I, I Wait, believe so. 76? Yeah. 72. Uh, presidents are usually not that old, right? I don't think anyone. No. no. They're usually anyone, like in their 50s or 60s. I don't think so anyone for who the applies most for senior that discounts That means he's going to die soon. I sure hope so. That's how you feel. Let's alienate our Republican listeners. Yeah. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck you. Just kidding. Right. No. If you so, voted for Trump, y'all ever boofed? This thing keeps on going. Carlos got boofed. More about poop. his his <laughs> body and stuff. Uh-huh. But it basically says, although the Japanese Times speculates many women were buying the calendar as a practical joke. Damn. Uh, the Guardian claims Putin's unashamed machoism is attractive to Japanese women. That the autocrats calendar is outselling even the country's top movie stars and athletes what the hell <laughs> that's what it ends with but oh, Japanese women oh like... wait they have photos of oh okay 
Can you can you put some of these photos on the he, Facebook he page? Said, he said, "Oh, no, okay. I can't." No, <laughs> these are just for you. I mean, it's like okay, so it's Show him. Fi- it's him fishing and hunting without a shirt. <sighs> him doing karate. Him riding a horse. Him playing hockey. He's in a wetsuit in this one. Uh, yeah, these, hot stuff, dude. He's like he's oh, only that's hot. Is he oh, doing? Can, MMA? We get, can you get Will Smith to say? Oh, that? he's here. Oh, that's hot. He's here Followed shaking uh, someone's. Uh, a UFC fighter's hand. He's only shirt. Picture. He's only shirtless in like five of these photos. Here, I'll show you the one of him on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I seen that him shirtless on the horse. You can't really see. What's her that, name? But... Uh, Chelsea Handler recreated Hanley. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. really. Yeah. I mean, by the way, she looks decent for her age. <laughs> oh God! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was gonna say though, but I mean, go for him though. <laughs> He's doing a lot better than our president, so yeah, that's no, true. It's even better. <laughs> that, that was, that was it. That's what I want this podcast to end. Whose Wendy's bucket is that? It's mine. I had I had Coke and tequila in there. I was tequila. All right. <laughs> Thanks for. Uh, do you guys have anything else to close the episode? With? I got something. Oh, to say. actually, before we, do you have I, something to say? What I got something. I should. I gotta. I, I gotta look up my music recommendation for the last year. Okay, before we go, uh, here's a taste of what the new year is gonna bring for us. We have a, a new segment that will be joining the spit bucket. What is so it? we have what it is the quote of the week. Ah, I got so many of. Them. Oh, that's a spicy cranberry. Can, can I read one? That's a sprite cranberry. That's a sprite ah, cranberry. A if sprite I ever cranberry. see one, I think it'll be my Facebook. Screenshot of the week. Facebook screenshot of the week. So this is coming from Jam because for some reason she's got a particularly trashy feed. Ooh, can we, yeah. Can we, so like, this is all based off of Jam's like friends. It is. So this oh, is okay. I this love is this. Jam's Facebook segment of the Ooh, week. I just, there you go. Who sent me a friend request? Y'all ready for this one, dude? Someone sent me a friend request at like five a.m. Who is this? That was all Mary. right. I found a really effective way to like wipe your ass and conserve on paper. All right, this one was. Is from it the one water. where you where you where you cut a hole in a triangle? Yeah, yeah I saw that. And you stick uh, your finger in, so yeah. you go like. And then this. you use that that like the favorite. Of, <laughs> and then you yeah you go like yeah. this and you clean your finger. You off. scoop it off. All right, ready for this? This one was from yesterday, nine fifty eight. Life pro PM. tip. <clears throat> Where's this from? Who said this? I'm not gonna say. She's a good girl, but it's do fucking I, funny. Yeah, do this I know is, her? this is her gold mine. She just misguided. Do I know her? All right, here no. She's a Rockford person, moved to a different state, so there's no way you know her. I think I want to know her already. Anyways, all right. One night, I cheated on my N-word and felt so bad, I offered to put $20 in his tank because I seen he was on E the next day. I'm like, damn, he getting cheated on and he don't have gas. He (laughs) ate me the whole night because he thought I was being nice, LMAO. That's why I don't trust shit. (laughs) Damn. And there's more where that came from, fellas. <laughs> so stick around. We'll it. see you in the new year. And thanks for uh, thanks for everything this year. We really appreciate you guys liking, sharing, and subscribing, uh, and joining our Facebook page. So uh, make sure to keep sharing it with your friends if you guys like the episode. My name is Omar. You can find me at Instagram and Twitter at underscore the Shark Boy. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. no I'm not gonna say. That. All right, you can follow me on IG or Twitter underscore sb dunk two nine. Uh, my name's Ivan. You can follow me on Instagram at uh, iproto ninety five. Also subscribe like to PewDiePie. <laughs> I've been doing your part. You yeah, can sorry. follow me on Instagram at Twitter at really underscore cool. The O's are zeros. All right, and that's very cash money of me. God damn it. <laughs> I just want you to know that picture is my background at work on my computer. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, long time, LNG underscore TME. That's also my band camp, but don't hey. go there. Check right. out I Am. It's greater than I was by 21 Savage. It's actually pretty decent. I guess that's All right, my, well, my that's recommendation. The, that's, a, that's the so Gibby I'm recommendation of the week. I'm going to the library and motherfuckers couldn't tell me a good book. Fuck everybody at this point. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right. Thanks for joining us this year in 2017. We'll see you guys in 2018. 2017. That's the other way. You hey, said it work. again. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2018, dog. Bro. I'm going to say that Bro. word. <laughs> oh, all right. We'll see you guys next year in 2019. The Spit Bucket. All right. Wait, is it 20? 20- oh shit! It is 2018. <laughs> Two fucking idiots. Boy. <laughs> 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 Gross.